live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. Okay, so the topic we're going to talk about today is why being an entrepreneur is better than being an employee. And the reason I'm talking about it is that I am here, here to give you tips on how to be um, an entrepreneur instead of being an employee. Being an entrepreneur is uh, when you can be your own boss and you don't have to work for somebody else. And do you know you can sleep late instead of getting up early in the morning for work? And um, let's say if you get up at 4.30, 5.30 in the morning to go to work, you still feel tired and you still feel sleepy, right? Um, you still have to go to work, right? You still have to get that money, right? But you don't want to, but you still have to. But what if you don't have to go to work? What if you start your own business? What if you can market yourself to get money? And uh, like, there's always options to get money, such as Bitcoin, uh, Thrive, um, and a bunch of other stuff. You know, Facebook has a lot of marketing groups where you can market yourself and uh, you can find uh, marketing programs and marketing tools to help you succeed in uh, business and to get money without working under someone else. If you're going to work, you uh, can uh, you you have a certain amount of time for break. You have a certain amount of time for lunches. Uh, but being an entrepreneur, you can take all the breaks you want. You can uh, take uh, all the naps you want. Besides, if you're an employee and you take a nap at work, um, you can lose your job and it's not a good thing. But if you're an entrepreneur and you work by yourself and you work at home and you uh, find your own time to do the, all these projects, do all the uh, services that you provide for your customers, um, you can do that too. And another way to be an entrepreneur is um, sometimes you have to spend money to make money. You have to get your name out there. Um, you can um, say if you're starting a business to be a chef, you have to be a landscaper, or you have to be a uh, librarian, you have to be a CSA, or if you're running a daycare, or if you're running um, a, a learning center, and you um, an entrepreneur, and you set up your own time, but it goes both ways. You still have to get up for a certain amount of time. You have to get up for a, uh, certain amount of uh, hours and you had to plan for certain stuff and it's not easy being an entrepreneur because some of your uh, income comes from the customers and what I mean by the customers is that uh, they pay you by the services that you sell it's just like a commission-based job where you sell services or products and if the customer says no or they're not interested then you don't get paid for the customer's sale or for selling the product because um, it's just like um, it's not just a, a regular job um, a commission based job is uh, based on how many sales you make instead of getting paid uh, on a regular basis um, of course having a job is easier but you have to sit at a certain uh, spot for uh, eight hours a day do all the same tasks over and over again and it make you feel tired it make you feel weak um, it make you want to take a break yeah um, of course you take breaks and of course you have to get up early in the morning something like that for me I haven't worked for a um, for a job in three years and I've been an entrepreneur for a graphic designer ever, ever since because um, What's the point of going back to work if I can make so much money being an entrepreneur and get my name out there, um, going to different cities, different towns, and uh, of course, you have to uh, dress professional as an entrepreneur. You have to dress for success. Um, you know, it's just like um, if you go out and introduce yourself to businesses and trying to brand yourself and uh, talk to people saying, who you are, what you do, and another thing too. If you do services and what you're good at, please take a picture of them or what you do or have a portfolio and put them on Facebook or Instagram so people can see it. That's the way to get customers and that's the way to get money rolling in because the previous work that you did and also, please 
uh, if you have customers that um, wanted a product done and you did it, please make sure that they follow you on your Facebook page. Let them give them a feedback to your business, see how well you did. And also let them go to your website. Please ask them to go to your website and rate how well you did and all that stuff. Comment on how you do, um, what you did for them. And if they do that, then you bring more customers in. And another thing you can do too is um, you can uh, brand yourself and doing uh, your brand off of merchandise. And another way to bring customers in is you can uh, do a merchandise off your brand. And what I mean doing a merchandise off your brand is you can sell some stuff or do giveaways such as uh, giving away mugs, giving away pens, giving away shirts, um, something on all that stuff. And I got some of these with me. I was planning to do um, uh, merchandise last year, but I decided not to do it. But I may do a giveaway. So here's the stuff that I've been talking about. These are the mugs off my brand. And you can see the logo on the mug. And on the back, you can see my uh, website. And here's another one of my mugs. Um, I did those last year. See my um, design on there. And on the back, you can see my website on there. And uh, and here's another one. Here's my favorite. It says, I love Drumhorn Studios graphic design. And on the back, there's my website. And also, and also there I do I have pens as well. I plan to do some more of those uh, during the giveaway. So be sure to keep, keep on the lookout for that. And another thing about working for somebody else is you may not like the person that you're working with or you may have issues with the person that you're working with but your job depends on how well you work with that person how well you um, do your tasks how well um, you do that job and um, it's just like um, if you don't like somebody that you're working with sometimes you have to get along with them and sometimes you have to do what's best for your job and if being an entrepreneur you don't have to work for somebody else and you don't have nobody to work with you're just working on your own and working at your own pace um, and getting more money that way then it's a plus so that means you don't have to listen to what anybody else had to say or you don't have to listen to what others had to say or you don't have to look at that person and another thing about uh, being an entrepreneur or a business owner is that the customers may want a specific product or service that they want and uh, sometimes they're looking for their best prices now I need to tell you that there are competitors out there that are wanting to uh, do business with other people have the same stuff that you do and they have they may have better stuff for a better price or um, something like that but don't get too discouraged it's just like um, you have to get your name out there and you have to convince that person that uh, your products and services are better than that the other person's for that price and uh, if you really don't want to lower your price or want your price to stay the way they are and you decide not to be competitive with them just make sure you're given the best product or the best deals or the best uh, services that anybody else has done and then you're good so that's it for this update and tune in uh, for another update and I will see you next time until then peace